So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go! Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep, keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Getting nowhere fast. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you... you take this slow, kid. Yeah. Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. <laughs> it's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. It definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. <clears throat> Got some big plans for this winch. Do it. Uh, 
All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, 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 poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, it's a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, still taking a long time. Oh, shit. Stop, stop. Sam. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight to them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
Okay. I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? Down, one to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Uh, we ain't got no auto club out here, Nathan. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? Now, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. So Rafe's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. Well, what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. Pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was a go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. I Check got it my out, money boys. and got the hell what out. Is it?
Shit, you can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. Just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. Guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? I can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Hey, what do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? A little out of place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as pirate treasure? Maybe. Check this out. Hey, be careful, kid. <laughs> Nathan, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the drawbridge crank. All right, I'll see if there's something up here. There's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I seen a few. I'll bring the car closer. <laughs> Dude, just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know? <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid.
Rental car. Must be theirs. Form a grid. I want them found. No warning shots. You see them, you take them down. Oh, shit! We're not alone! Go, 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 go! Let's go before more shorelines show up. Hey. Now, let's get that bridge down. Try that again. There we go. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? You know, 
have to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him this is 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners. Set. Here we go. All right, hang on, guys. Uh -oh. definitely share on this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. <laughs> Hold on to something. I'm almost disappointed. Uh, uh, almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Break over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. Uh, heads up. God, Jesus. I said heads up. Hurry up, 
Me too. And he's up. Say, wait up. Come on. <sighs> hey, Jerry, Victor, this way. He seems excited. Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. Don't see a treasure, though. Hey, guys? Coming! Come check this out. St. Dismas. We meet again. So? What do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas, too. And that's, uh... Um... That's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrell, and that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Yes. 
They figured out the towers, too. Location, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. Crap. Yeah, but still... Two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. no, no Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. You gotta be crazy to wear a shirt like that. Ah, crazy handsome. Oh man, something smells really good. Mm, that's right. It does smell good. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, Sully, I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work. Jesus. Long way down. You okay back there? You keep your pace. I'll keep mine. Yeah, well, at least you got a great view, right? <clears throat> Okay, let's see what we got. Edward England's sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. Yes. Yes, it is. Hmm. Now, what do you bet? Scorpion? The guy with a large pitcher? <laughs> the 
zodiac symbols. Look, there's Leo. Ah, and Taurus. There's four signs. And four bells, way up there. And these things in the middle of the floor look like locks. Got it. Let's go ring some bells. This is definitely the place. Call Sam. On it. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Voicemail. Hey, Sam. Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in the city. Well, no reason to wait. I'll be right back. Watch your fingers, Nate. Can I be nervous? No, good. Trust me. Where have I heard that before? Thank <laughs> you. 
Sully, any word from Sam? Yeah, he's probably fine. He just forgot to charge his phone. No, 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 no. Jesus. There you are. Sure hope you're doing okay out there, Sam. I made it! This is gonna be loud! Sully, heads up! Sorry! Handle broke! I'm gonna have to ring it myself. Here we go.
Holy shit! Jesus Christ! Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? I don't know yet. You? Jeff? Come on. Let's see what Avery has in store for us. All right. Sure, why not? Let's see what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my towel. I, I got nothing. Yeah? No. We're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Sully. Way ahead of you. Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery, Thomas too. Partners in crime. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> there are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah, they got those star patterns on them. They turn, but which way are they supposed to go? Whoa. Okay. Should we go look? Yeah, d just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and uh, Christopher Condent. I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? You and me both. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condent. Splendid. Why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Well, that mustache. It's almost as impressive as yours. Eh, it's all right. Hey, look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Hey, you're right. That's right, content went by Billy One Hand. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty face. Huh. Bonnie was a redhead. Yeah. What do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? I bet these line up, too. Hmm.
these guys? That's... Um... They are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you... Give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. There. You know, these are actually some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. Okay, just saying. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. <clears throat> Is it straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. God, look at Farrell's face. Looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. There. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Want, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. But Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet, but I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. Hey, Richard Want. He was the captain of the Dolphin. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. William Mays. American? Yeah, from Rhode Island. Just like Thomas, too.
we have here. Uh... You know, I'm honestly shocked you don't know this stuff. No, I, I do. I just want to make sure Sam knows. You know, because he likes to feel useful, that's all. Aha, uh -huh. of course. Shit. What happened here? A uh, torch probably fell or something. Come on, let's see what's left. Edward England. Stout little fellow. Ooh, Sam texted me back. Ah, see there, Sully? Turns out Sam doesn't know everything either. Huh. Yazid al Basra. Looks Indian. Close. Muggle. Wait, aren't the muggles the ones Avery robbed? Honor among thieves. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever the case. Huh. No name. This guy's get up looks Moorish. Found the stars, but who are you? I don't recognize this guy. Looks a lot younger than the other pirates. And four. sure yet maybe send it to Sam really hey you're the one who said he's the pirate expert just saying okay that's one and two last one all right let's see what he makes of them you know that kind of looks... Huh. What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Yeah, let me see. Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These could be trade winds. Yeah. And these look like latitudes. Yeah. And I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Pro Deus quod licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh, my God, it's so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am. I'm calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. It's been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner... Well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow. Oh, Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old times' sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. 
Rodeus quo licentia, for God and liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now and destroy your phone. What's going on? Rape knows where we are. We gotta find some place to hide. Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey. Buy a new one. I think that's Sam's tower. It's definitely Sam's tower. Come on. This way. Hey, pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. How long do you think before Rafe gets here? <laughs> Let's not stick around to find out. Sorry, pal. Come on, down here, Nate. Nate, watch out! Shit! Everyone out of the way!
Blimmin' way he could have survived that. Why chance it? That's not good. Holy shit, he's still alive! Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I think the coast is clear. Yeah. All right. Pro Deus, cor licentia. This looks like a simple cipher. Forgotten liberty. I Means their damn motto. All the paradise references. I can't believe we missed it. See you two made it out, okay? Way better than okay. We found Libertalia. <laughs> Liber. Liber what are you? Libertalia. Seems Avery founded the legendary pirate colony. Uh, it's more of a pirate utopia, really. Okay, but what about the treasure? See, as the story goes, this place provided a safe haven for hundreds, maybe even thousands of pirates. And they, they shared everything. Property, resources... Money? And they kept it all in one common treasury building. Okay. So, where is this... 
Kami Pirate Sanctuary. Right here. That island, just northeast of Kings Bay. <laughs> hey, Rafe has a copy of this. Yeah, well, by the time Rafe figures it out, we'll be well on our way to Libertalia. I'm telling you, that treasure is as good as ours. <laughs> Shit. How's the Malaysia job going, Nate? Seems like you're a hair off course. Elaine, it's... It's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is that you're searching for Henry Avery's buried treasure. And given the shoreline soldiers that are all over town, I'd bet you're not the only ones looking for it. All right, well, I, I guess it's kind of what it looks like. But, but I can explain. Look, it's gonna sound crazy. Try me. Well, for starters, um, this is uh, Sam. Sam Drake, my brother. Hi. I'm sorry. I, I thought he had died in a Panamanian Neat. jail, but I was obviously very wrong. He's been stuck in there for 15 years, and it's because of me. And the guy who broke him out wants a lot of money, and the only way we can pay off the debt is Avery's treasure. But, but that's the good news. We, we found it. it it's, it's on an island just off the coast. Okay, just stop. Was there ever... A Malaysia job? I... Okay. Come on, come on, wait. Elena, wait! I don't get you. Look, I, I wanted to tell you. You know what, enough! No, I wanted to, but how could I? I don't know, just say it. I had to protect you. That is bullshit, Nate. You just didn't have the nerve to face me again. I, I knew you would react like this. How would you react? You lied to me for weeks. If you were killed, I, I wouldn't have even known about it. And now you have a brother. Who are you? Come on. I'm me. Come on, it's me. It's different this time. Oh my God. I have to save him. I don't even care about the treasure. The look on your face when you walked into this room. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. I got a plane to catch. You do what you have to do. Hey, what are you doing? Go after her. We're not done here. Well, maybe we should be. What are you saying? I'm saying maybe there's a smarter way to save Sam. Such as? Such as we give him a new identity. We, we put him in hiding somewhere. He's I got been contact. in prison for 15 years. He's not going into hiding. OK, fine. You go after your wife. Sam and I will head off for Libertalia. Without me? Come on, you'll get both of you killed. <laughs> really? <laughs> Kid, I've been doing this for a hell of a long time. I think I might be able to handle... Hey, you want to be helpful, Sullivan? Go keep an eye on her. Whatever you say. Got it. Let's go pack your bags. Okay. 
locked in? Yeah. Land ho. Pretty cool. Take the wheel for a second. All this running around, surviving by the skin of our teeth. I think we've actually taken a moment to step back and appreciate just how far we've come. Huh? Sick Parvis Magna. Sick Parvis Magna. Listen, little brother. She will get over it. I mean, we bring back a treasure like that, anyone would. I don't know. Maybe I've uh, done this one too many times. Somehow I imagined it bigger. Yeah, well, we're definitely in the right place. I'll find us a spot to set ashore. <clears throat> oh, I mean, at least there's an island, right? <laughs> yeah, at least there's an island. Just keep an eye out for anything man made. Ah, uh -uh, you mean pirate made? <laughs> sure. So, maybe Libertalia is more of a small beachside shack. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a tree house. <laughs> maybe Avery spent his entire fortune setting up this treasure hunt and ran out of money to actually build. Nathan, up there. Take an old lookout tower. Well, let's see if we can spot something from up there. Okay, up we go. Sam, this way. This looks promising. Huh. Some kind of symbol. It's like a compass arrow. <laughs> How did you know to do that? Well, if there's one thing I've learned from you, press everything. <laughs> Look down there, the same symbol. It's another arrow. Let's go find out where it's pointing.
Boat's right below us. Yep. Follow these arrows, see where they go. Go. You got it. This is pretty cool. What? Climbing this cliff? Yes, climbing this cliff on a giant secret pirate island. I mean, come on. <laughs> right. Well, I think it's pretty damn cool. Avery wasn't much for subtlety or understatement, was he? Well, he had the money. You got it, flown it, right? Come on, let's get a closer look. Sam, come on, give me a hand with this. Yeah, sure. Go. Okay, come on through. Thank you. Yeah, sure thing. Jeez. Really lots of lifting and crawling under things, huh? The glamorous life of a treasure hunter. suppose this place was. Well, these arches remind me of the St. Dismas Cathedral, but uh, I don't know. <clears throat> no, 
Oh, rope bridge up there. Come on. <clears throat> See what you can find up there. You got it. Well, there's a path, but I don't see another way up yet. So, hold on. Sam! You okay? At least I'm on the other side. Okay. Uh, still need to get you up here. Hang tight. <coughs> Sam! Anything? Sam, hey! You still there? God damn it. Let's see here. I ruined my marriage. Drove my best friend away. Got two psychos in their army after me. And now my brother's gone missing. Not on the bright side. There's no one around to tell me I'm an idiot. up here where were you finding a way to get you up here all right just jump across then thanks everything all right yeah everything's fine let's keep going okay There's a path down here. Great, right behind you. Nice job. Sam, in here. Got it. All right, looks like we're still on the right track. Long drop. Did you ever think we'd be doing crazy shit like this? No, I can't say I did. <laughs> Looks like we're heading down. That worked. 
Guardián. That is the second biggest sister I have ever seen. Wait, wait, where was the biggest? I'll tell you later. Come on, let's get down there. Sam, come around this way. Holy shit! <laughs> All right. You doing okay? Yeah. Piece of cake. Wow, what is all this? Lots of supplies in here. Tools, seeds. Uh, provisions probably past their sell-by date. We're getting in there. Let's just lift it together, all right? Okay. Okay, let's do this. Oh, come on, this is heavy. Just think about all that treasure. Yeah, mostly just thinking about my back. <sighs> Shit. Whoa. Well, looks like we got ourselves another trial. It sure looks like it. Let's see what these do. Okay, there's some impressive engineering here. Ah, they turn the symbols. That'll help. Symbols on the spheres don't match the ones in the light. There we go. What is that? Oh, look. Statues. Pirate captains. There's Bonnie uh, Baldridge, Paul Basra. Remember that guy's there. So who was this Al Basra character? Uh, he was a muggle. One of the soldiers on the guns were. What's he doing teaming up with Avery? The stories have it, he was taken to be executed. He got freed during the battle and blew up the guns where he's a gun pilot. Uh, Grateful Avery brought him along? Exactly. What about that other guy? Heard he started as a nobody. He has some swordsman. Now you just gotta get them in the lights. Got it. Here we go again. We got, let's see, Joseph Farrell, William Mays, Tariq bin Malik, and Mr. Bacondon. Eight out of 12. Constantly rotating. Jeez. Bin Malik guy. Looks Moorish. Oh, uh, yeah, that he is. What's he doing so far from the Barbary Coast? Same as us. Where the action is.
I think you got it. <laughs> and the last of our crew. Richard Wood, Edward England, and Thomas too. Sam, look, that's where we're going. No, wait, 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 wait a minute. That's only 11 pirates. We're missing our s It's kind of weird. Let's see. Okay, where to now? Missing Avery statue. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that our friend was a bit of a narcissist. You think? <laughs> yeah. Let's go see what he's got in store for us. Oh, that's uh, that's a long way down. <laughs> So, Nathan, and be honest with me, how does this stack up, you know, compared to your other adventures? <laughs> Ask me again when we finish. Don't snap, don't snap, don't snap! <laughs> Didn't snap. Sweet. Boat's down there. After you, Captain. Okay, island with monstrous Avery statues to the right. I'm so excited, my hand, my hands are literally shaking. Yeah, I know the feeling. It's either that or I just, you know, I need another cigarette. Maybe a little bit of both. He's got a spyglass, but he's not really looking through it. Maybe he wants us to look through it. Treasure Island, eat your heart out. Sam. Oh, no, no, no. Well, you do the honors. I insist. Come on. <laughs> okay. How are you? <clears throat> All right, Captain. What are we looking at? There. So? Big skull shaped island? What? Big island. <clears throat> no skull. That's gotta be it. Libertalia. 
<laughs> That's optimistic considering everything. You know, it is just us here. You're allowed to feel just a little bit of excitement over this. Well, I'll get excited when we get Alcazar's noose off your neck. One. <laughs> okay. What? I said okay. No, 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 no. Your okays are never just okay. It usually means the opposite of okay. Rafe? Who the hell else? 